Before we begin, remember, as an immediate responder rendering aid to an injured person, your safety is paramount. If you get injured, you're adding to the problem, not the solution. These situations can be overwhelming. You need an easy way to remember basic principles of what to do when faced with severe bleeding emergencies. I like the ABCs, alert, bleeding, and compression. A stands for alert, call for help. Don't ever assume that someone else has alerted first responders. It's up to you to either call or clearly direct someone else to call for help. Be as clear as possible regarding your location. This is especially important if calling from a cell phone, since it's very possible that first responders can't see your location. Letting the dispatcher know your precise location will assist getting responders to the patient faster and save precious time when every second counts. B stands for bleeding. Look for the site of life-threatening bleeding, as the location of the bleeding will guide which method you choose to control it. If necessary, open or remove clothing so that you can see the wound. Don't forget areas that are in contact with the ground. Once the wound is located, quickly determine if the bleeding truly is life-threatening. Examples of life-threatening bleeding include blood that's spurting out of the wound, blood that won't stop coming out of the wound, blood that's pooling on the ground, bandages or clothing that are soaked with blood, loss of all or part of an arm or leg, or bleeding in a patient that's now confused or unconscious. Make a quick and decisive decision since every second counts. Keeping blood inside the body not only delivers oxygen and nutrients throughout the body, but helps the body heal itself through clotting and maintaining body temperature to prevent hypothermia. C stands for compress. Apply pressure to stop the bleeding. To stop bleeding quickly, we need to stop the flow. We do this by applying pressure. Simple, direct pressure with a gloved finger is usually highly effective. At times, other techniques will be appropriate, and these include tourniquets and wound packing. 